Jefferson Town High School. It's a school just like any other school. And just like any other school, it has its own set of problems. And these problems, well, they need to be fixed sooner or later. If it wants the people that go there to be kept happy. And it's a problem among many other problems that any school would have. But this problem is air quality. It's not the school's fault though. It's the district's fault. They are in control of the AC and air quality. And they aren't very flexible with it either. In the summer, they make it extremely cold, while in the winter, it's extremely hot. A very big imbalance from outside to inside. And it's very uncomfortable. Some of the rooms smell like marijuana, piss, or other revolting smells. And you can't really do anything about it. Here are some quotes from students that go to Chaytown High. I think that the air quality at school is, well, really just disgusting. And that the AC is pretty much broken, or that the people don't really know when to turn it on or off. The problem with AC in this district is that the, air, the AC is controlled by the school board on Curtin and Drive instead of the janders at the schools. As you can see, most people have a problem with the situation at Jefferson Town High School. And it's not just our school. Many other schools deal with the same problem every single day. Maybe worse than ours, maybe better than ours. But it's just a problem anyways and it needs to be fixed. Epi.gov claims that 115,000 schools in the U.S. have indoor air quality problems and we must fix them quick for the comfortability of the current and future generations.